we have some big news for Indian chess. Arjun Arigasi, the Indian youngster who's just 17 years old, beat the Armenian lion, the one and only Levon Aronian. Here's Arjun on the left and Aronian and they played a match. It was a bullet chess match, okay, at the bullet chess championship by chess.com and it was a 16 game match in half an hour, uh, roughly around half an hour they played 16 games and Arjun won eight and half, seven and half, which is simply amazing. Uh, if you think about it, bullet chess is a lot about speed of decision making. Uh, many people used to say that it's not serious chess, but I feel that now slowly and steadily as blitz and rapid chess are assuming importance. So is bullet chess. Uh, and uh, the fact that the entire event is worth $25,000 and you know the good prize money at stake there is more value becoming a, a good bullet player so the bullet championship if you just have to get an idea is something like this uh, over here you see two Indians are in the fray here uh, Nihal Sarin who has reached uh, the quarterfinals he will take on Andrew Tang and Arjun Erigesi will take on Hikaru Nakamura today what great games they will be uh, Raunak Sadhwani on the left side also played against Artemiev he gave a very tough fight but in the end uh, succumbed to defeat so this is really Nakamura, Arjun, Alireza, Artemiev, Naroditsky, Hansen, Andrew Tang, Nihal Sarin all the <laughs> best bullet players in the world of chess so uh, of course analyzing the bullet games is a little bit tricky because there are a lot of mistakes often but it also shows how good these players are so i'm going to analyze a few games just here and there i'm going to show you how good arjun is because to beat aronian is not easy and the funny thing is aronian has his chess.com id as armenian lion and uh, Arjun has his play chess ID as Indian Lion. So on chess.com he is Gan, uh, Gandhi but on uh, play chess he has Indian Lion. So it was Indian Lion versus Armenian Lion. And this is one of the games that was played early games. Arjun is white, d4, knight b5. So already the opening looks pretty good for uh, Levon. Takes, takes, d3 a6 knight to a3 bishop b4 bishop d2 takes castles bishop e2 i think everything that black would have wanted out of the opening he's got it here rook e1 but at this point you will see that um tactics start to happen and here arjun was very very alert he first pushed the knight away knight a4 and I would like you to find a good move for white here. And this is all happening in one minute. Arjun took on d4. Beautiful. It's not a piece sack because when you take on d4 as in the game, h5 is hanging. If you would have taken first on e2, I would have taken back with my knight and I would be pawn up. So knight takes, bishop h5, knight e6, bishop f3, um, c6 and... Rook e3, very nice move. Queen f6, rook a1, rook d8, d5, knight g5. A very calm move, getting the queen out, taking on c6, c5, queen c4. He took, rook takes, queen g4, h5, king g7. And now, I mean, the position starts getting a bit complicated because the knight on c2 is not very well placed but arjun's moves are very very cool you know takes takes brings in the knight rook d4 and here uh, he had knight f5 check for king the king and the rook but he missed it he played a check check again and just when we thought he was going to repeat he found this only winning move in the position can you find it white to play and win there are some deadly threats here of taking on h4 with a check but Arjun finds queen f6 not only defending this but also attacking f7 you can't defend it because your queen on b2 is hanging and in that way 
uh, he managed to checkmate Levon Aronian. Beautiful, clean finish and this was done in a bullet encounter which is very very special. Uh, there's also a f one more game that I want to show. This time Arjun is playing with the black pieces. E4, E6, D4, D5. Arjun loves to play the French by the way. Knight C3, Knight F6. And here, because it's bullet, you can play knight e4. Generally, you would like you would play knight fd7. I think Aronian made a pre move here, which was f4, uh, because to nfd7, f4 is a good move. This is main line stuff, but he went f4 and then queen h4 came in. Uh, and Arjun was already winning because takes, takes, he won an exchange. But there was another key moment which showed how quickly Arjun makes his decisions. Knight c6, bishop takes, now threatening bishop h5, so queen f7, good move, g6, castles, rook h1, rook df8, rook h6, knight e7, queen d2. And here I want you to take a few seconds and figure out like what would you play here as black. Black is better. But, you know, white has kind of blocked everything. So how do you continue? F4. And this is feel of the position. You get the F5 square for the knight hitting the rook. Has to move back. Take on E3. Take on F4. And he had broken through. Uh, Arjun went on to win this game. Quite quite easily like some of the games he would convert them very well and uh, Aronian was quite a gentleman in this entire match whenever he got a very lost position he would resign not waste time also he he needed to get the next game in that time so uh, this is one game by Levon uh, which is very nice because it shows how alert the Armenian uh, player is of course now is shifted to US. So castles, rook e8, bishop e3, knight g4, bishop g5, h6. And here, white to play. There's only one move to fight for advantage. And it's very cool. What is that move? White to play. Okay. So if you go bishop e3, of course, you don't want to be losing the bishop. That's just better for black. If you go bishop d2, then d4 pawn is hanging. That's also not good. If you go to f4, then after cd, knight d4, there are e5 tricks. And although g4 is hanging, after bishop g4, queen g4, e takes d4, the position is fine, you know, maybe around equal. So, not bishop f4. Bishop h4 was played in the game. However, the right move is bishop c1. <laughs> nice move. White is better. Uh, next move, you can just kick this knight away, then play bishop e3. White has a great position. However, bishop h4 takes, takes. This is where Levon showed his alertness. Beautiful move here. Bishop takes d4, queen takes d4, and e5. And you will see that there is a threat here uh, on the bishop and also on the queen. If you were to take the queen, I can take e takes d4, knight b5, rook d8, and black is better. He'll have... He'll win two pieces for a rook eventually. So uh, Arjun went queen d2, but Levon won a piece and later on even won the game. Uh, so that was a, a good win for Levon. And he scored many nice pretty wins. The interesting thing was by the end of 15 games, the score was 7.5, 7.5. Seven you couldn't get much things more close than that. And this is the final game. Uh, Arjun had black and I loved how Arjun tackled the London system here. First d5, bishop d6, knight d2, he castles, c5, c, uh, c3, c5, bishop d3, queen c7. And this way of playing has become very popular which is knight d7 and going for e5 move. So bishop g5 by Levon, knight bd7, castling, b6. We need to bishop b7. Very, very calm, quiet play. Rook f e1. And now knight jumps to e4. Good move. This is generally how when you put your bishop here, you want to put your knight here. Bishop h4. And now 
plonking the knight on e4, really supporting it with these two pawns. <clears throat> knight f1 and now c4 good move b5 starting the queen side play first solidifying the center then starting the queen side play and to think that he did all of this in a one minute encounter is just tremendous knight g3 h g3 bishop b4 now b2 is slightly weak white uh, is in trouble out of the opening c3 knight e1 bishop a3 bishop b2 gets the a file now threat he's threatening to take but arjun is very quick to notice oh there is a pin here queen f3 he takes away this knight rook takes knight f6 uh, rook goes back and now bishop a3 queen e2 knight e4 maybe not required here he could have gone uh, bishop b4 with the idea of doubling down the a file i think black is just totally totally better but knight e4 queen d3 was played rook c8 and now aronian managed to exchange that's the thing about bullet you can't really keep your advantage throughout uh, bd6 would have here kept the game around even but after bishop b2 aronian started to push he got the e6 pawn and it seemed like arjun is going to be knocked out of the tournament but g6 very very firm move uh, goes back and here Levon actually took a lot of risk allowing Arjun to enter knight f5 knight h4 threatening f3 pawn rook f8 queen check rook e8 e4 takes on f4 there's still some twist left after knight g4 now rook f8 knight f6 check king g7 here white has had to find this move rook a4 winning this but it's so difficult when you have just a few seconds left he played rook d6 queen f4 rook f7 aronian here uh, should have gone e6 after rook d7 he has to find knight e8 because if he takes e takes d7 uh, then after queen takes f6 he's piece down and the queen is top so he has to find knight e8 and then after let's say king f8 uh, e takes d7 and uh, it's very complicated this position but levon went for a check first king f8 and now arjun did it very well he had some extra few seconds he won a piece here then he won the second piece in this position and then uh, levon lost out on time and that's how arjun erigesi managed to beat levon aronian the Indian lion managed to outroar the Armenian lion. And that's the talent pool we have in Indian chess. Players like Arjun, Nihal, Raunak who are playing here can, you know, give a very, very tough fight to the best in the world. Yes, right now it's bullet. Someday it will be blitz, then rapid and then classical chess. Kudos to Arjun and all the best to him for his match against Nakamura today. This is Sagar Shah signing off. Bye-bye.